Train the muscles, not the joints. So today I'm going to be doing a day of eating. So uh, the stove's always being used constantly, never stops. So today I'm going to do a day of eating and I'm going to start off my day with uh, some chicken and yams and sweet potatoes. I don't know how much I have cooked so we'll find out here. So usually I bake, uh, I cut up a bunch of yams and I bake them and uh, I, it takes about 45 minutes but I, I cut them up in slices right, you can kind of see in here. You know, there's a bunch of slices and stuff and now they're a little soggy because they've been in there for a day or so. But I make a whole thing out like this, a day ahead of time, or three days ahead of time actually, and then basically my morning meal, this is what I have for my carbs in the morning, right? So I'm not looking around for carbs, I'm not uh, trying to make something from scratch all the time. And I find they, they keep pretty good in the kitchen anyway, they keep pretty good in the fridge. They, they don't really, they don't spoil that fast or anything, so it's good. So yeah, right now, uh, Yesterday I had a high carb day. I had, uh, you know, two meals. I had even some rice yesterday. I had some Nando's chicken and everything. Um, so today's gonna be a moderate day of carbs. Probably, well, pretty low, I guess, it, for me anyway. I, I'm just gonna have one meal of starch like this. And uh, any other carbs I get will be like an apple or a couple apples maybe, like pieces of fruit or something. You know, a lot of fiber in there. And uh, then the rest of the day will be protein and fats, you know. And of course I will have my mocha, you know, because I like to have my my no whip mocha, you know, uh, as a treat every day. So yeah, that's pretty much my carbs today. That's that's really what I'm going to be eating. See, I find a lot of people, they think they need to eat a ton of carbs, but I mean, it might be true if you have a really fast metabolism and that's the way your body runs. Because I remember back in the day, like when I was 20, you know, I got shredded eating like, I, I remember eating Twizzlers, you know, I could eat so many carbs. I, I could have as much sushi rice as I want. It didn't matter. Like I could just have total amount of, uh, like high amount of sugar, high amount of big. Uh, I don't know. I just as long as I stayed low fat, I would get I would get shredded. Basically, over time, my metabolism changed, and and of course, I found that you know I could eat that way, but I wouldn't get to an elite level of shredded. You know, I get really good gym lean, uh, but when it came down to uh, going to the higher levels of competing, it, you know, dieting like that wasn't enough. So yeah, so I, hmm. they're all sideways. They're all sideways now. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay, so basically, you saw what I put in here. I put in about uh, chicken breast, you know, about chicken breast and a half or something like that, and some yams. So yeah, I'll just chew on this. And I make myself a coffee too. I have coffee with sweetener, tiny bit of milk in there. Uh, but it doesn't really add up to that much. It's only a couple teaspoons of milk, really. And I'm high tech, I use a kettle to boil water. I thought that would be a really important tip for you to know. So when I'm waiting for that to cook, then I boil the kettle and make some coffee. Really interesting stuff, eh? I know you guys want this full day of eating. I don't know why, but yeah, I understand also the allure of it, okay? Because when I was first training, when I was 14 years old to, you know, my early 20s and all this, yeah, I wanted to see every single detail. I had to kind of piece out the logic of this crazy bodybuilding life together. Like, how does this really work? How did that guy get that peak on his biceps? How did he get those abs, you know? The really big thing that made the difference is that I prioritized my protein. I made sure that was first and foremost. I said, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm definitely gonna get in, uh, you know, four or five meals a day of straight protein, whether it's, you know, six ounces or 12 ounces of protein, uh, whether it's coming from you know, grass-fed red meat or whether it's coming from chicken or whether it's coming from some fish but I'm gonna make sure I make this a priority, and I did, and my body's exploded because of it, because it was pretty deficient in protein, because like I said, I just I just wasn't interested in making this a priority, right? You know, priority makes a big difference, you know? Some people see a professional athlete, and they say, oh, what happened to him or her, you know? It's, it's priority, because this is like a full-time job, making sure your eating is right, making sure you're never missing a meal, and then of course your workouts get longer and more intense because of this, which is good. But yeah, it's it's all factors together, right? It's it's all holistic. You cook in here. See, it's all nice and mushy. It's like baby mush. Baby mush in there, baby mush. The nice part about yams and sweet potatoes is that you don't have to you don't have to flavor them up. You know there's already good flavor in a sweet potato or a yam and chicken. It's, it's good just the way it is, right? Well there you have it. This is my first meal. So 
I'm gonna be uh, eating this because <laughs> it goes in your mouth. Just so you know, like when you when you have your full day of eating, make sure you put the food in your mouth. You know, you don't shove up your nostrils. You don't uh, in the ear. Nothing like that. Just that's 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 a free tip right there. You don't have to pay me for that. Anyway, yeah. So I'll see you later. I'm probably gonna be doing some footage on my iPhone, uh, so it won't look quite as good uh, because I'm gonna be eating out. Uh, I'll probably be eating some sushi in a couple hours here. Uh, I'll have, uh, you know, a lower. Anyway, you'll see when I get there. All right, so now it's a couple hours later. I didn't eat all that breakfast. I put some of it in the fridge there. I only ate about half of it. So now I'm gonna go to sushi. I'll have, uh, you know, uh, some seared tuna a salad and uh, you know there's some avocado in there so there's gonna be a little bit of essential fats and some monounsaturated fat in that meal but again on the lower carb days I don't worry about that too much so yeah so here we go I'll show it to you in a second here okay so, so you see that that's uh, avocado salad and tuna so I'm just eating that right now that's uh, you know lower carb meal high protein and yeah there's some monounsaturated fat so I don't recommend eating you know monounsaturated fat for every meal because you will get fat you'll put on weight pretty quick but it is something that I don't mind having a little bit uh, in my diet when I'm on a lower starch uh, program during that day right so yeah this is what my second meal looks like okay so now I'm gonna have uh I had a big nap because I didn't really sleep that much last night, so it was about a three hour one. Because <laughs> I only slept a couple hours last night, so. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have about 12 ounces of top sirloin. So here it is right now, it's 12 ounces. So this is out of, uh, oh, there's a piece of hair on it, that must be mine. No, there's a, this is 12 ounces of top sirloin. And uh, yeah, so yeah, this is one of my meals, right? So this is meal number three. Cut it in half just to, that way it cooks better, more evenly, right? So it's not just seared on the outside and then totally raw on the inside. Although I like it a little bit raw, or quite a bit raw actually. Okay, now I'll sear that up. Now I'm out of food, so I'm gonna have to go shopping. I have to go to the butcher shop to get some more uh, chicken and beef. So yeah, that's that's kind of the day, right? I'm making videos and working out and doing sessions. I had, I had some work to do today. And, uh, and yeah, in between I'm shopping or making food. But it's not that bad as you can see, like the steak here is only gonna take me about uh, five minutes to make, really. Five minutes, six minutes. It's not gonna take that long. So uh, the chicken breast I cook bulk ahead of time. I cook about 10 chicken breasts at a time uh, because that way I can just take a chicken breast, put it in a salad or mix it with some yams or whatever it is I need to do with it. And uh, chicken's just a little bit harder to cook. It doesn't seem to cook quite as fast, right? Cause you wanna make sure chicken's cooked all the way through. But yeah, that's that's my main uh, main way I prepare for my food, right? I, the main way I prepare it, it's just it's all convenient, right? Really quick. It's not very cultured, I guess, but it's kind of like it would be easier if I just had a bag of cat food, actually. So I think a bag of cat food would be easier. <laughs> salt on there and then that'll be it that's my uh, number three and I'll have uh, an apple after as a dessert or something so I like apples apples are good so I get uh, one or two of those in a day too let's get an apple oh sorry so this is a Fuji apple it's organic I love these ones these are really good steaming some zucchini here, right? And uh, I'm gonna have some steak, 12 ounces of steak with it, top sirloin. Sometimes I'll have about 12 ounces of chicken or more, uh, or 10 ounces, whatever, you know, somewhere around there. 
And uh, yeah, tonight I decided to have steak because I'm starved, so I'm having steak again. Grab that steak meal, I'll have a small apple like this, or a big one. There's only small apples in my fridge right now, so this is one I'm having. So that concludes my day of eating. The only thing that I didn't include in this is the mocha that I had and a couple cups of coffee and that was it. You know, just the, the low caffeine coffee that I drink and, and that's it. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, take care for now.